bedroom ransacked by raccoons. I mean, what, what else is there to say after that? Two local grad students says it's been a nightmare since the critters found their way into not only into their home, into their, their room, into their bed. Into their bedroom, just hanging out. Our Don Timoney with the wild details. Brandon DeBlois couldn't believe his eyes as he opened his bedroom door. Oh my God. I recorded just in case something was in there because I heard crashing. It was about 10 days ago and something was in there all right. Two raccoons. It was a wild moment. I didn't expect them to be on the bed and <laughs> turn around and look back at me, but there they were. I think they were just as shocked as I was. Brandon and his girlfriend, Amanda McCrossan, are grad students at Drexel University. They've been renting the house on the 1600 block of Edgeley Street in North Philadelphia for just over a year. Amanda suspects the raccoons have been there for a while. On May 3rd, I submitted a maintenance ticket for animals scratching in the ceiling, like I could hear it at night, and nothing was ever done about it. Until they came crashing through the ceiling. After making lots of calls, the couple finally getting a wildlife company to set traps on their roof to catch the critters. So far, they're up to eight. We thought that maybe they got them all after the first four, and we were shocked after they got the fifth and sixth and we are just flabbergasted at the 7th and 8th. James Atkerson lives across the street and is not surprised. He says raccoons run rampant in the neighborhood thanks to people leaving their trash out ahead of pickup day. Sometimes you'll see them just walk around like people. Honestly, you know, and it's never one, it's always two to three at a time. This is how the raccoons were getting in, through this hole in the roof. Today, a crew was on hand patching up the opening, but Amanda and Brandon are still dealing with a huge hole in their bedroom ceiling and have been sleeping on the couch for days. I would just like to sleep in my own bed. Do you think they're gone or you're not even <laughs> sure? Um, I am inclined to think that they're not gone. We're done. We want our current landlord to just peacefully let us go. The couple signed a two-year lease but are requesting an out due to the circumstances. The property management company responding by email saying they must abide by the agreement unless they can potentially find someone to sublet the home, which Brandon and Amanda say is just not acceptable. I did reach out to the management company but have not yet heard back. Dawn Timoney, Fox 29 News. This is another reason why not to sign a two-year lease. <laughs> I, I mean, that landlord, I, why was there a hole in the roof that yes. wasn't addressed? That's yes. number one. Hopefully uh, they address everything. The thing about raccoons is they, they don't care. They're not afraid of humans. Mm -hmm. they, will, they will step up and be like, what? What's up? What up? What up, though? <laughs> what, you don't like me in your bed? Too bad. That's, that's the raccoon talking. Um, that's just... Well, we'll stay on top of this. Uh, hopefully there's some resolution for this couple. Uh, eight. Eight raccoons.